Hey everybody, I'm the old man, and this is philosophy and religion and no talk about the game. <laughs> um, today I kind of I couldn't decide what I wanted to talk about, but I I did finally figure it out. Um, today's topic is going to be um, why would God allow suffering? Why would a good God allow suffering? Um, and this is, I say this with a couple of, um, disclaimers. Number one, this is not what I would say to somebody who is actually suffering. I would not, you know, I would not, uh... When somebody's suffering, what you do is comfort them and help them and grieve with them and let them feel their pain and, and, uh, feed them and let them cry. But certainly don't, uh... Don't don't sit there and try to give them some theological treatise on suffering. That's not what you do. So this is definitely um, just thoughts that I've thought of um, in terms of ouch, and, and just in terms of you know the apologetics of it all. Um, so suffering. Why why would it be got a lot of suffering? And the one one of the main reasons I think is because it shoot next time. I'll put the things on there. Um, because I think that, um... Got four guys and four things. It sort of forces people to, um... Oh my gosh. It forces people to see others as human beings. Um, and it forces us to feel empathy for each other. Uh, when things are going well, we're usually, uh, we're not very compassionate. When things are going well, when things are, um, usually we're pissing and moaning about, uh, you know, anything under the sun. It's, it's the, uh, we're whining about the, the lady at the McDonald's didn't put the right thing on our burger, or the Pokemon Go servers are down. Not that I've, not that I've complained about that before. <laughs> um... Or, you know, just, just stupid stuff. We're just, it's just, um, I should have went over there, but I didn't. Uh, just, you know, stupid. Just petty little bullcrap. But when something happens, when something disastrous happens, we immediately feel something. We feel compassion. We feel sadness for the people that went through that particular thing. We went, you know, we're, we, we, we actually feel something for them and we see them as human beings and the proof of that I think is unfortunately the last uh, uh, the unpleasantness in Orlando where the with the nightclub um, people that had previously never even never had a thought for gay people suddenly felt compassion for them suddenly felt something other than disdain for them and um as awful as that was, it got people to see that community in a new light. And, 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 and certainly, you know, they, they felt bad and they felt awful. And that's, I think that's a good thing. And when does those kinds of disasters happen, if, if they're, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, when they're either just natural or man-made or whatever, um, it forces us to really think about other people and um we don't do that nearly enough uh we don't we don't we don't do that like i said when everything's going good we just whine about things um kill this thing and um and the other thing and, and so i you know I, it, I know it's very trite and very you know but i i really think that it's kind of necessary because Otherwise, we wouldn't help each other, I don't think. We, you know, we, we even when uh, a friend and, and, and a close relative dies, you know, we... My wife is texting me. <laughs> um, and a close relative dies or something, you know, we, we... We grieve with them. And I think that's a very important thing to do. Um, because I can't get on that stinking platform. There we go. Um, very important thing to do, and, uh, so that's one of the reasons, that's one of the reasons why I think, why does God allow suffering? So that we will get out of our own, get our heads out of our rear ends, 
and uh, actually think about other people for a change. So, uh, and the other reason is, I think, um, in my experiences, and uh, this is gonna probably sound ridiculous, but in my experiences with, oh my gosh, get up there. There we go. In my experiences, <laughs> um, God tends to make a lot of beauty out of chaos. And, um, and I just see that as a big music fan, I look at a lot of albums that have come out and some of my favorites are just made by people who are broken. They just, they're, they're, they were, um, whatever was going on in their life would just made them miserable and they wrote, but such beauty came out of it. Art, the paintings and, and albums and movies and stuff that really affects us and, gets us to think about life on a, li a lot deeper level, uh, is all a result, uh, you know, it comes from suffering. Usually when you're, you know, if you're not suffering, you can, you, I'm not saying you can't make a good album when you're not suffering, but it seems like to me, you know, Metallica's strongest material when they were a bunch of crazy drunks, in my opinion, you know, um, and then when they got all, all, all therapy and all that, then their music was kind of like, eh. But out of their brokenness, they made this powerful, uh, transformative music. And, uh, I think we're gonna... Uh, get the jet out. But I can't have the jet out, because I gotta... I gotta get up there. Um, and so I, I just, I think that that's worth something. Uh -huh. I gotta pay attention to these dang blocks. Uh-huh. Or maybe not. You <laughs> shouldn't pay attention to dang blocks. Sorry, I'm gonna be quiet for just a second. Oops, wrong thing. Ah! No! Oh, okay. Let's. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I've been playing a different game the whole time. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is, uh, and a good example, there's this band called Against Me, and, um, the lady, I guess lady now, the trans person has gender dysphoria and wrote a pretty much an entire album about it. And um, I've heard, I don't listen to the band, but I've heard a lot, the people that do like that band really think that that's a beautiful album. And and you say, why, why would God allow a person to go through that sort of thing? And to which I say, well, I, you know, if we don't, then we don't have that album. The album is not there. So the question is, is that worth the suffering? Is, is the, uh, is the art worth the suffering? And I, I, uh, I tend to think that it is. And I, of course, I, now I say that with everything going pretty well right now. So, um, I understand that, you know, it's, it's hard. It's easy to say that when you're, when you're on the ridge looking down in the valley and a little bit harder to say it when you're, when you're trotting the valley of the shadow of death, it's a lot harder to say that. Uh, so I acknowledge that, and so I, I mean, I, but I, but I do think that the art that comes from all the, the suffering is valuable. And then there's the ministries, and, uh, and just like, you know, if a battered woman is, I don't remember what, uh, weapon to use here. Oh, gosh, I, I so don't remember. Oh, uh, crap, well. Is it that? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's usually what everything works on. That's not it either. Um. Uh, so yeah, I, I just, I'm playing and doing it at the same time. Sometimes it's difficult to do that. Um. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I think that. Um. Now, of course, again, if I, uh, if I, if I had... If I had the, you know, suffering, if I had more right now, I, I would probably, uh, probably think different a lot about that, but right now I'm, you know, and man, I wish I could remember what, uh, what weapon worked here. I'm gonna have to burn two, uh, burn two things on it. And so, yeah, that's, um... And I was gonna say something else, but this boss fight, boss fight has made me forget what that was that I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, come on! Oh, get up there and get 
kill this thing. Um, and what else? Yeah, the, the, oh, I was talking about the ministries and stuff that happened. The ministries and, you know, uh, like I said, a battered woman who is, who is, goes through all that crap and then creates a ministry or a program that helps other battered women and affects, like, all, through all her destruction and chaos, she, she helps so many other people. And, um, and I think all those are good things. I think that we wouldn't necessarily have them. Um, uh, we wouldn't have that sort of thing if we didn't, uh, you know what, let's do this, let's try, oh my gosh, with the buttons. We wouldn't have those things if we, um, oh gosh, maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> um, we wouldn't have those things, I'm gonna fill, I have to fill up the tomahawk without suffering those that that so much good happens with suffering that's kind of the point that i wanted to make with that and uh if you are suffering right now with some terrible awful thing know that i you know i don't say these things so that we can just sort of ignore your pain i not at all um i say these things going man I, god bless you and i hope it's i hope your your deliverance is nigh uh because it sucks. And that's the thing, is we really, really need to be good to people. And be... Actually, we're gonna need to fill up the flame. Be good to people and be compassionate when they're going through stuff. Because we all... We're all in this together. I've said that before. But we are... Uh, 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 oh, ha, ha. oh, gosh. You... Oh, you suck. Oh, phew. <laughs> we're all in this together. And, um... You know... That's really all I have to say. So again, not a not a huge, uh, not a not some great profound thing necessarily, and certainly not anything I would ever plan to win a debate with for sure. But I don't do debates anyway because I don't like conflict, as I've said before. Um, oh, I guess we're doing all the refights. Okay, we'll do the refights in the next video, and I'll talk about the last thing that I that I want to talk about. We'll do that next video. I'll see you then.